A lot of women are very lucky to have your services and your expertise. I had the fortunate opportunity to experience style for hire earlier. I knew my, my sense of style and, and where I maybe felt a little bit uh, more insecure about taking bold steps and the like. With a color like this, what would you suggest? I love scarves. I see women all the time put them around their bags. I have no idea how to do that. I tend to buy either the same thing or something that spur of the moment trend that I'll think I'll look great in, and then it just sits in my closet. One of the things that I think that stylists are fantastic at doing, and certainly our network stylists, is we do a couple of different things. We like to talk about the science of styling in terms of being able to identify body type, show you the best shapes that will work on your body, right? That can add volume to your top half if you're bigger on the bottom and sort of make you look straighter, things like that. Um, that's what we consider to be the science. But when you talk about getting outside your comfort zone. I always talk about the tools that you have, the categories where you can play, that once you've got the shapes down, you can really start to show your personality. And that's based on personal taste. How do you mix trend in in a way that doesn't kill your wallet and doesn't kill your closet? It's a great question and I like to think of a wardrobe as steak plus sizzle. So you want to have those wardrobe basics but you want to infuse a few new fresh pieces each season. So this season we might take your neutral palette and give it some pop with color, uh, some new accessories to look at. So there are a lot of different ways to freshen your wardrobe each season but it's steak plus sizzle. Do you suggest that women have a checklist or have an idea of what they need to shop for. When we go food shopping, we have a list. Mm -hmm. Why not when we go clothing shopping? It helps you to focus, it helps to narrow the playing field. There are a lot of wonderful choices in a store like this, so it keeps you focused because we can get lost among all the possibilities. This is the type of dress that I probably would uh, buy. I love it because it's stretchy, it's comfortable, it can be really versatile for day or night but it's kind of boring to me because I have 12 other dresses similar to this. How do I change it up a little bit in unexpected ways versus maybe just wearing a blazer or black cardigan, which is what I normally do? What we can do is we have this great belt, which is just a little accent of color, a little bit of a pop. I never would have put this together. This is a snakeskin print. These don't match and I would, never would have thought to put them together, but they look great. There are people that are pattern phobic. So with those people, I would start with a pattern. And once they become more comfortable, they can gradually interject other patterns, the pattern mixing. Something like this is more of an understated way to do pattern matching. So I think this is a good first step. I tried on the belt as you suggested. And I also am so surprised that this blue cardigan actually works with a green snakeskin belt and this type of pattern. I feel like this is all the stuff I would have in my wardrobe, but I would never put it together. How do you know what color is going to match a pattern? When it's a neutral pattern like this, black and white, you can really combine any color with it and oh, it's wow. going to work. These two colors, the blue and the green, work nicely together so they'll work nicely back to the black and white. And use your eye, trust yourself. Mm -hmm. If it feels good, mm -hmm. chances are it looks right. What you wear, and we all know, is uh, a sense of your personal style and, and speaks something about you. Both of you are, are dressed um, wonderfully today. Objectively, if I looked at looked at your outfit today, what do you want to come across? Ooh, wow, I know, God, that, that, question. that is a toughie. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to communicate style for hire CEO. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. What I was trying to do here is a little bit casual, but with a blazer to pull it together and, and feel a little more professional. I wanted something fun, you know, a little bit of texture and shine and sparkle bling. and bling, thank you. <laughs> Uh, to show you that I've got that side to my personality. The one thing that, that she didn't use as a category was color, but she is using pattern, shine, and texture in the shoes because that's what we would Three consider, right? Like a snake skin, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, to create visual interest in an outfit. Not only do the clothes fit, which again is very important, um, like as your clothes fit, because what that says is you have an intimate knowledge of your body, of your physicality. And if you ignore it, you're sort of transmitting a different message. So for me, it's the same thing. I wanna make sure above all that my clothes fit because that says that I understand and I'm working with my body. I'm comfortable in my skin. Um, I'm doing solids, but it's color blocking, which I feel is a you know sort of a big, important 
kind of trend right now and a very easy one to translate for professional settings. Um, I had a little bit more fun with my shoes. So that was my uh, pattern, color, and texture right there. <laughs> all, all in one package. All in one, right. And the same thing with the jewelry. I, you know, can't go wrong with a snake. And you know, I designed the necklace, so I can't, I, I can't not wear it. That's a given. <laughs> what would you want to communicate to me? Uh, those I Obviously stylish. Yes, but I think more than that, I think strength, confidence, uh, knowledgeable, um, you know, that you uh, can trust me.